Good morning and welcome to another Friday morning favorites. This morning I have a real treat for you guys. I have a brand new purple and white bicolor sweet corn and this is totally groundbreaking in the realm of sweet corn. There have been purple corns before but if you've ever grown them you may have had the same experience that I have which is that they're <laughs> frankly not even worth eating. This one totally breaks the mold. So let's take a look. To find the perfect ear here. Now you'll see these have really nice husk coverage, which is important. You want to look for a nice tight husk because that's going to limit the amount of issues that you have with things like corn earworm and the sap beetles. But these things get really plump, really, it's a really nice fat ear of corn. And you can see just how beautiful that purple coloration is. Now this is aptly named, this is Wild Violet. And you actually want to pick these at about this stage where this purple is just starting to kind of blush. As this ear matures, this purple will get even darker and it's beautiful, but for best eating quality, you want to get it when it's at this stage. Now for the ultimate test, the taste test. Mm, that is one good ear of corn. It's incredibly juicy tender. It's got a nice deep kernel that you can really sink your teeth into. And it's sweet, but it still has this really nice, rich, kind of old-fashioned corn flavor. It's just superb. Another attribute of Wild Violet is that it is not just a pretty face. You can see that this produces a really nice stand of corn. These plants are tall. They're going to average about six and a half feet. They are healthy and they're every bit as productive as pretty much every other hybrid sweet corn that I've grown in my garden. Now the one thing to keep in mind when growing wild violet is that this purple coloration will actually transfer to your other sweet corn. So for example, I grew this next to a yellow and white bicolor this year and that variety of corn was actually showing a few little kernels here and there that had the same purple color. Likewise, because I grew it next to a yellow and white bicolor, I'm getting a few little yellow kernels on this wild violet as well. If you truly want the straight purple and white bicolor, it needs to be isolated. Now, as long as you grow it with other SH2 or augmented SH2 varieties, the eating quality is not going to be affected. It's just gonna be that color. So that's something to keep in mind. So drop a line in the comments. Let me know if you're planning on growing wild violet next year in your garden. And be sure to stop back for another Friday morning favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.